my inspiration um, for writing Castaway was based on my own. Um, I had depression when I did uh, a master's degree um, to the point where I would I would favour looking at a wall in my bedroom because then I didn't have to tackle anything and I didn't have any challenges and I could, that was very simple. For me, staring at a wall and going to sleep was a real escape and it was simple and it was uncomplicated and I didn't have to fight me. Um, a lot of the time it was fighting urges, I had an eating disorder and it, it caused a lot of depression because it was something that I understood the triggers for but then couldn't get over because it was emotional and it felt like some kind of isolated barren world that I was in but other people could watch almost like an enclosure at a zoo where you're very much on your own and yet you're with other people but you go home and and you're on your own in your own head and it feels like you can't really escape and my inspiration was pretty much trying to communicate people to people about how it feels to be depressed and then have to go out into the real world and continue go to work do a course not pretend that everything's okay, but almost use something else as a distraction so that you can function because you still have to go out and do things. I still had to make money for rent. I still had to study. But then when you come home and all you have is yourself and your own mindset, then you're back. You're back on that, that barrel island and you're so, I felt so lonely. I didn't want it to be melodramatic. I wanted it to be very reflective of someone who is in their own head trapped doing the same thing over and over again where it doesn't make sense but it makes sense to them and that's the only thing that matters. So the inspiration for this was as a vehicle to to basically get people to engage on the subject of depression and mental health but specifically in terms of men. There, there's far too many men who are committing suicide because I don't think we give them the tools or the permission to talk. I hope as many people see it so that it gets the message out that we can all be there for each other and to leave a space for people to come back to us or to talk if they need to. But if you do not offer that space and if you do not check in and if you ignore and you isolate and allow people to feel like the only space they have is the dead space on a beach that's barren that lives within their own mind and they have no safety buoy and no raft and no light to look at then that's awful and I think we can do better. <laughs>